Thank you, ma'am. Uh, it was a wonderful start, and I'm sure we are all awake. And some of the things she says, if you were listening carefully, I don't think any one of us will ever forget it. So remember, remember some qualities about the child, remember some discovery of the child, as told you today in the lecture by Ma'am Naza Fahim, our umbreen as we know her as well. And so let's re-appreciate her and a warm... <laughs> That's all about, we'll call upon Mrs. Meher Javed to give you a lecture on that. The new part, Ma'am Meher. My topic, the new path. This is the path about the discovery of the child's development, about the human development. It says that as the child is coming into this world, there are also researches for improvement, for making things better. And scientists were working on this for quite some time. The child is... Now put in the background. We are talking about the previous times. Dr. Maria Montessori writes about 70 years back, so that is 100 years and 70 years, quite some times back. When the research were working, scientists were working on research, it was about the adult. Any species which was discussed was considered as the adult form. If we are talking anything about the human beings, it was always the adult person. But then there is a working between the difference of the child and the adult. The adult is working in a way which is according to his own needs, his own developments. And the child is working in another way, in a selfless way. Child is not having any worldly aims that if I do this, I will get this. Child is working only for his own self-development. So they came a starting point when the scientists realized that to study the man, we should focus on the child because that is the beginning of the human beings, of the man. So the child was also taken into consideration. The adult is a person who is moving towards the end of his life, towards the death of his end. And the child, child is <coughs> making a new beginning, a new start, child is progressing, developing, and reaching the end. Nobody he will leave the young newborn child unattended. Everybody, every family member is concerned about that new baby. They love for the child, they care for the child, and parents are working and doing everything for the child without ever saying that they are doing any favor or any work for anybody. It is their child, out of love, selflessly they are giving the best to the child. And then again, Dr. Maria Montessori says that if a parent is poor, but they have two children, nobody says that, oh, he's so unlucky to have the child, living beings, that they will protect the young ones. And to get to the origin of any species, research should be from the beginning, when the child will come into this world, whether it's the human beings, animals, birds, any species. So the examples are different as she quotes them. She also gives the example of the lion and the tigers. They are wild animals, they are fierce animals. But when the baby is there, they become caring and protective towards that child. So all living beings do care and protect their child. It is the natural instinct blessed by God to them. And the child is on the path of discovering new things. So what the adults will do, they will provide the environment in which the child will progress. And this is the new approach which Dr. Maria Montessori gives and that's why this chapter is called The New Path. Because in this, it is realized that yes, the real research about human beings begin with the child. The child, as he arrives into this world, is facing the adults. It is a world of adults, but the child is surviving. Out of love, out of care of the adults, the child is surviving. And a time comes 
when the child will slowly and gradually become independent. As the child is becoming independent, he is gaining self-confidence and he is learning to survive, he is able to do his own things and that is slowly and gradually leading the child to adulthood and that is the prime period of the human species. Extra energy, horme, through which he will work and he will be able to satisfy his needs and lead to the progress which is the requirement to reach adulthood. <coughs> so in this chapter, you will just find the basic outline, how development has started. First it was from the adult, but as science is developing, they are moving backwards to the origin of the child and the very young age of the child. Thank you.